I think goes out this way. Okay. I can't tell for sure because if I go poking it, I can damage it, and I don't want to do that. There is a PVC pipe. If you look real close, you can actually see it to the left of that. That should clean up. Okay. There's nothing really here on this side to really look at, so that's pretty much the extent of septic and where the water comes in. I'll show you where the main shutoff valve is for the, yes. for the water yes. for the house, okay? So we can get that under control in that way. In case of anything, how, you can shut it off. Can you tell how large the septic tank is? That I can't tell you. Okay. But you know who would know is um, when they did it in 2012, uh -huh. uh, the company that did it for him might know. Okay. Emerald? Was it Emerald? No, Emerald no, was the reef pipe. Oh, that was the and, and for what it's worth, so we're a house of five. Yeah. Toilets, flushing, showers, all that kind of stuff, and we've had no issues okay. if you guys are a house of two. I mean, again, if you guys want to get a septic inspection, great, yeah. but um, if it works for us, I mean, you guys are going to use it half as much, so. Yeah. It's okay. logical. Right? I mean, it's working yeah, right I mean, now. Yeah. Yeah, uh, now this guy over here is where the water comes in. Uh, always remember, it's important to keep it insulated and protected. Okay. This insulated your, and protected. Yeah, and this is your protected. main valve. And the reason I say that is, see how he's got his garbage cans here and it's mm -hmm. kind of like there's obstacles around. If you're going to use a landscaper or you forget that's here, if you run into it with a mower or a weed right, whacker, right. you can break it. So if you're not going to have this stuff over here, then maybe get a couple of cinder blocks or just kind of protect it. Okay. But I mean, nobody's getting around here. I had to move stuff to get to there. So, you know, um, main electric panel. Okay, this is the same thing I told you about a little earlier. Oh, thank you. Okay. This is the main breaker for the entire house. Okay. Okay. This is for the pool panel and this one is for the air condition. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, this is a technicality, so when you read it, I want you to understand where it comes from. A service disconnect for an air condition has to be technically within 50 feet and in sight okay. of the equipment. If you can't see the air condition because of the fence, okay. the tech can just look over here. Okay. <laughs> All right? But technically, if I, if I don't call it, the air condition guy comes out and says to you, do you know that this is not right? I just don't want you to think okay. that we overlooked it, okay? <laughs> Simple enough. Uh, pump for the sprinkler is here. I think I got that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's been working out, I think. Right? <laughs> just, don't, don't get her mad at you. <laughs> that, that is That's what I That's the last thing I want to do. <laughs> She's tiny, but she looks strong. She looks very Stronger than she looks. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> Uh, this is where your water comes up from. This is the pump that's bringing it up. The pump's in average condition, but you know what? It's it's a benefit to have the well drilled and the con connected. So your when that sprinkler comes on, this is what's bringing your water. Got it. Okay. So if you pay attention to it, even if it should leak a little bit or something like that, it didn't seem like it was leaking, but even if it should leak, it's leaking back from where it came from. Got it. So okay. if we connected a hose in here, it'd be well water that's coming yeah. out. Yeah. It's kind of cool if you think about it because yeah. people have reclaimed water meters now in neighborhoods and it's the same thing. Yeah. So you could wash your car, you can use that for Both a number free. of things. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> Air conditioning system. That's aggravating. That's aggravating. <laughs> okay. Okay, so outside unit and inside unit are the same year. We talked about this already. Like, Rain is a good brand and the size of this unit is four ton. Okay. So four ton is probably, it could be slightly oversized for the size of the house, but the reason that that was done in 1999 is because the, the duct work probably was smaller and they thought that a little bigger was better for two stories. Got it. Okay, it's not big to where you have to worry about it not pulling humidity out of the house and stuff like that. Okay. Pool equipment, everything is what you see is what you get with this. I opened up the electrical stuff. This is nice and clean. You'll see photos of all this inside your report. Okay, this is the panel that's controlling the filter. Mm -hmm. the pump. Okay, so basically you would read instructions on how to set it, and it's on a timer. Don't worry about it. You, it's like a foreign language. Yeah. <laughs> you can YouTube it. Okay. That's what the young kids <laughs> tell me these days. You can YouTube. For every 10 degrees in the uh, the high that day, you're uh -huh. in the pump for now. So like in the summer when it's 100 degrees, run it for 10 hours. When it's 90 degrees, run it for 9 hours. When it's 80 degrees, run it for 8 hours. And all you do is... So that's the on, this is the off. It took the off off because I shocked the pool yesterday, so I wanted to run. And you basically, current time's right there. It comes on, turns off when these switches are on. So like when you want to move it, all you got to do is unscrew that and just move it up an hour, down an hour, whatever. Okay. And this is your manual 
on off. Okay. That was confusing. Yeah. You'll be all right. YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube anything. So, I think that overall, I mean, uh, the one last stop back here. What's this? Is this a brand? Oh, this, this is, is just a, a shelf or something. Oh, okay. uh, it's what we put the trash cans in when there's a lot of wind. There you go. There you it's go. from the prior homeowners that is going to be our gift to you. <laughs> but actually, when the storm came a couple weeks ago or months ago, we actually did put the cans in there, and it just keeps them. It's filled with sand, so it just kind of keeps them from flying. Keep your neighbors happy too. There you go. Your garage can't. Your garage. Uh, your Close garage is in the garage door. Oh yes, sir. Um, that panel, the last panel that he closed was the chlorine, chlorinating panel that I said didn't work. Okay. But you got the chlorinator. On, actually to the left of the filter okay. where he's pointing. You so put you pull that cap off, you know mm -hmm. if you buy like the chlorine tablets, yeah. you can drop tablets right in there, uh -huh. turn it on, and then there's a valve right here to set how much you want it want to do. To go in. Okay. The best thing you could do I actually because you forget a lot of stuff. Yeah, uh -huh. in, get a and I'll guy in the book that someone else knows. Right. And then I'll show you. Okay. Uh, this is a uh, cool light right here. Now that pool light is on a ground fault receptacle. The ground fault receptacle is a little outlet, a little plug that's located right by the equipment. Uh -huh. If that light don't come on, uh -huh. check that outlet over there and reset it. If it doesn't reset, it's usually a bad GFI. Right now okay. his is fine. The breaker works, GFI works, light works. Okay. And the same thing here, if you're out here and you're doing something, maybe you're, I don't know, you're having your housewarming party and you have your radio plugged into here uh -huh. and it trips, that's on the same circuit. Okay, so you yeah. go reset it. Now, Got it. you won't remember any of this. Yeah. And this some YouTube of it, video is really gonna help. Yeah, I'm this sure it's gonna help. <laughs> yeah, hopefully not too many people view this. <laughs> but um, I think that with the report and what Renee has done, at least you can look back on this and kind of get some information. Okay. The report should be very helpful to go over like what we just went over. Okay. And all the flood lighting works. Yeah, actually these two spots, uh, the switch for that was on the inside. Yeah. Right. And so he showed me in the closet was where that one was. Oh, for on the, the other corner. one? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I actually didn't uh, even know about that one. Let you want me to turn it on so you can look at it? Yeah. Do you mind? Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, guys, that's it? I think so. Perfect. Thank you.